here is part three of sixteen. Hey man, check this out. <laughs> Yo, jerk. What do you think you're doing? Oh, hey dudes. I'm just looking for the sisterhood of the backpack and khakis. They're all the same movie, loser. Great. <laughs> Freak, circus hour is over. Courtney Monkman, Cicely Deacon, Trisha Holmes, with emails and phone numbers too. Score! <laughs> Thank you, party gods. <sighs> what do we do now? Now we contact these fine honeys and tell them the bad news. Christo's party has been canceled due to parental interference. Cool. Please be crying because Chad's a jerk. Please be crying because Chad's a jerk. Right. <laughs> Wyatt, over here. Oh, thanks for coming over. What happened? Chad scored a ticket to the Kronk concert, but he couldn't get two, so he's going alone. He's ditching me on New Year's Eve. You mean you're free? I mean, oh, that sucks. I have to go to Charmaine's party. This is Christo's father speaking. His mother and I just found out that he's been planning a, a wild party while we're away. Oh, uh... Well, the party is cancelled, and my good-for-nothing ex-son is grounded. Christo just got busted. We're stranded for New Year's Eve. But I did hear uh, about a party at Jen Masterson's house. I believe everyone's heading over there. Oh, great. You wouldn't have her address, would you? As a matter of fact, I do. When are you guys planning to tell Jen about all these girls you're inviting? I think he's waiting for the right moment. <sighs> Jen, you look terrible. Are you okay? I was up late cleaning the house and making brownies and painting Courtney's nails. But at least this party will rock. Yeah, about that. Hey, good call in the scrapbook, by the way. How's it coming? You've only done one page? Well, see, I... The rest is doodles of you and Brandon? And what's this? A checklist for your prom date with him? Okay, I can explain. Remember how Brandon didn't really know I existed? Well, now he does. And he asked me out on a date tomorrow night. What did you say? Yes, I said yes. It's not that bad, Caitlin. It would have been nice if you asked, but I guess he can come. Not to your house. He invited me to a huge party at his house. You're ditching the gang for a complete stranger? You said New Year's Eve is the most important social night of the year. I'm sorry, Jen. It's just that Brandon is so cute and he's so incredibly nice and- Don't tell me. Let me guess. He might be the one? Yeah. Hello? Jen's address? Yes, I happen to have it here, LaFonda. What? I'll have to call you back. <laughs> hey there, Dad. <laughs> Hi, guys. I can explain. We get the picture, Weasel. You're scamming chicks from our party and sending them to her house. What? Just keep your distance, Bonesy, or you may find yourself missing a limb or two. Uh, I don't think Jonesy picked the right moment to tell Chen. No. Uh, uh Hey. Wyatt, you are not going to believe this. Jonesy and Jude were trying to turn my party into some chick fest. It would have been awesome. At least Carly and Simone are still coming. Dude. Jude. Yuck. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about your party. I kind of need to keep tomorrow open in case Serena needs me for emotional support. Serena? The girl who ripped your heart out? Yeah. She's not sure if she's up for a party, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. 
I know what you mean. Thanks, Jen. I knew you'd understand. Oh, I understand. I understand. I need a whole new set of friends. <laughs>